Hi, um, my name is Natasha, and I'm making this video for any woman right now who is pregnant and considering abortion. There's a lot of things that the government, um, abortion clinics, don't really tell you about abortions. Um, for instance, one of the most popular ways of committing abortions is, you know, they'll take these two long silver metal sticks and they'll literally scramble the child to pieces. Um, its little limbs, its arms, its legs, um, until literally its head is decapitated. And they will call the child's head number one, obviously so as not to freak out the mother, that they just, you know, extracted a head from within them, they really don't want you to know that the child is not a mere clump of tissue, that from day one of conception it has human DNA, it is a life. Um, many women who uh, get abortions, the chances of them getting breast cancer actually doubles after only one abortion. And then if you continue getting abortions, even after that, it triples and it just continues to increase the chances of you getting breast cancer. Um, abortion is not healthy for your mind. A lot of women, you know, the, the rate of suicide goes up. Um, and I, I truly believe because I think deep down um, you realize after the fact that there was a life in you and now that life is gone. And that's devastating, that guilt um, you know, the Word of God tells us, you know, that we are not to kill. And it is a life. It really is. And so I just want to encourage you that there are actually things called pregnancy centers. There's a lot of them. They're free. And um, basically, they'll pay for all your prenatal visits. They'll actually help you find a loving, adoptive family for your child. Um, it's really... A great option you know that abortion clinics aren't going to tell you about because it is a business they make loads and loads of money um, hence you know the reason why the government is so ardent on passing more and more laws to make abortion more common and um, more affordable even though the taxpayers are going to be paying you know a lot more money in order to have these uh, abortions be more accessible it's really a business and even Planned Parenthood literally gives awards to clinics that quote unquote exceed the abortion quota that they were given by Planned Parenthood, meaning if a clinic passes a certain amount of abortions because they're required apparently by Planned Parenthood to commit a certain amount, if they exceed that, they're awarded. I wonder why. Oh, we got more money. Awesome. Keep it up. Keep on aborting children because we are banking, all right? They don't care about women. They don't care about your mind, your mental stability. They don't care about, you know, your body and how, and how it's really not healthy for you or your child. They don't care. They really and truly don't care. They want money. That is it. They do not care. And so I just plead with you to really consider this because God is the one who grants life. And if even if it was a traumatic experience, the, the way you got pregnant, understand that even statistics show that women that conceive out of rape are actually so blessed by the child and that the child brings them comfort and joy. And most times, even if it's incest, that, that the rape actually stops once the woman becomes pregnant. And so just really don't look at it as an inconvenience. It's really a blessing from God. And look, the Lord loves you so much, okay? He didn't spare his own son for the sake of us to be able to have eternal life. We've all sinned, okay? Whether you've committed abortions before, the word of God says if you repent, you just turn away from your sins and you put your trust in Jesus Christ who lived a perfect life and then he rose again from the dead three days later. They still cannot find his body till this day. He defeated death so that anybody who calls upon him in truth 
turns away from their sins, they will receive eternal life, be forgiven, be cleansed. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past. God will not only forgive you, but he will heal you from that hurt, from that guilt. You know, the shame of that. I know that there's women who feel terrible that they've done that in the past. But God is a redeemer. And he really does restore. You know, um, no, I've never committed, you know, an abortion. Um, I was a virgin by the grace of God. Um, you know, on my wedding day, I was able to lose my virginity. But um, there were still things that I did, you know, in the past that were regrettable, that were sinful. And God, it's amazing how he's turned that around and literally made it into a ministry where now the mistakes I made in the past, I'm able to now share that with women and warn them and help them and teach them. And it's a beautiful thing to see how God is using me. You know, someone who was so obsessed with guys and and even though God was calling me and calling me and intervening in my life, how many times did I ignore him? How many times did I disrespect him by continuing to sin and disobey him? And yet still he had mercy and he was patient with me and he waited on me. And my life is so much better now than what I could have ever even imagined for myself. I wouldn't think that I would be married you know, by 20 years old. Um, And no, that doesn't happen for anyone. But I was so broken. I felt like no relationships were ever going to work. That I was just destined to be single and that was it. I was very bitter um, because I was looking for love in the wrong places. I was hoping that men would satisfy. and, And no, no man can. And it wasn't until I met the man, Jesus Christ, that that love that I needed so badly was finally quenched to the point of overflowing, where I was filled with joy. My mom thought that I was literally crazy. She doesn't think that anymore. It's been five years. She's actually very happy for me and my relationship with the Lord. Thank God. But all this to say, even if you have a boyfriend who is forcing you, you know, um, get this abortion, you know, and threatening maybe, I'm not going to be with you anymore if you have this kid. Okay, you don't want a guy like that anyway. He's a loser, okay? He has no sense of responsibility. Chances are he doesn't have a father, which is sad, but you don't have time for that and and you don't want to deal with that. And if a man is not going to respect you and honor you and cherish you and be so selfish that he can't look, that's his baby too. It's not just your baby. That's his baby too. But to look on and say, no, just get rid of it. That is not a man that you want in your life anyway. Um, And just don't, you know, again, don't worry about the future. There are options for adoption. You know, don't, don't think the worst. I promise you. God will bless this act of righteousness. God will look on and say, you know what? She knew this was a sacrifice and and yet she obeyed me. You know, you have to also understand, okay, let's be real. It's not the child's fault, all right? No matter what happened to you, it's not the child's fault. And so for you to honor God and go, you know what? I'm not going to blame this child. I'm not going to take it out on this child whether that means you keep it and and you take care of the child. I know single mothers and their children are blessings to them and they love their babies more than anything, okay? Even one girl that I know who was raped and had a child, okay? She loves her baby more than anything. She'll die for that baby, okay? There's something so precious, so precious about children. And so I just really plead with you to very much consider this, okay? There are serious repercussions for choosing to kill a child, serious ones. And I don't want you to have to go through that. And that is why I'm making this video because abortion, they're not gonna care. They're not gonna sit down with you and and let you know the value of life and how God views it. No, you know, again, they want your money. And so don't give them the satisfaction. Don't give your boyfriend the satisfaction. No, you know, honor God If, if you, you know, will to honor God. He will protect you. Just make the right decisions. Don't stay in abusive relationship. Just, you know, be wise. You know, listen to the voice of God trying to intervene in your life. Don't ignore the warnings like I had many times. Okay, please 
just surrender to his will. You know, you could get plugged in, pray for a good church, you know, a loving family of God to come in to help you out. But there really are. They're pregnancy centers. A lot of them are faith-based that will help you for free, okay, and, and, and support you through this process. And it's a really great option. And so I pray that you make the right decision, and I know that the Lord will bless you. God bless you, and I'm praying for you ladies.